All right, how you doing? So Burnley nil, Preston nil. Um, I'm not going to talk for too long because there's genuinely not much to really talk about. Um, yeah, it's kind of one of those games, like many of the other games that, we, that we've had this year, where not really much has happened. Um, I, I really can't really tell you much of what happened in that game in terms of Burnley doing something good other than maybe the Foster chance right at the end in the 88th minute or so. I, I can't tell you anything. Um, Preston really should have come away with the three points. Um, not because they possibly had a lot more of the opportunity in that first half, but he also scored a goal that should have been onside. And it was wrongfully cut for offside from the set piece four minutes in. So... I never, I never thought I would say that. Like, we've been so kind of ahead in terms of being a very competent, almost dominating championship side each time we go down. And now we kind of look a bit sort of toothless. And that's kind of how I feel right now. We do, we do feel quite toothless. And we've kind of been like that in many games. And I'll be real, even nine games in, I think we've played well t twice this year. Like, even the 5 0 no against Cardiff, I would still say that we didn't even play that well in that game. We, we won 5 0, so obviously we played well, but the many times in a game, the, 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 we didn't really have much control. Um, and we took advantage in the transition on the break, and we were absolutely clinical. Um, I'm seeing quite a few posts on social media, which I think is fair that that was a just a really poor game of football um especially in that second half it just became a bit of a, a you know that's just squabbles people falling around restarts all the time for free kicks and squat it, it just wasn't a game of football really um and yeah right now it feels a bit safe it feels a bit safe right now but in terms of looking for positives we're second in the league you know like we're one point behind top, and we've played well for about two games out of nine. Now, that's the main thing. It's like, are we going to get better for that next step? And you'd imagine that we will. You know, this is still somewhat of a newly collected team, some new pieces to it. You know, Hannibal, I don't think Humphreys is really a starting player. CJ Egan Rowley isn't really going to be a starting player moving forward. You know, when the likes of Bayer eventually comes back one day, I don't know when, but um, Egan, you imagine, may not be far off. Or even the likes of Oworo as well can also add to that. There's still parts of the team that will add to it. Trezor one day will be back. Fleming is, of course, back now, so maybe he'll start up top soon ahead of Foster. Collie Orsho on the right-hand side is completely uh, pointless. You know, like Anthony, we've got basically eight different left-wingers not one right winger. That's fit. Of course, Benson could have been that, but that's people he probably would not start anyway. And we did play Vitinho as a right winger, but then we saw him. Um, I think we're just begging out for Johan, honestly, in terms of a, a person to really open up the defence, that one clinical ball, that piece of quality to open up a team. I, I think we really are begging out for Johan berg honestly. Honestly, I, 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 we missed that final killer ball. Because right now, I don't think we're fast enough on turning the ball over. And we're kind of being caught out a lot in midfield. You know, uh, Preston were really good at just making it tough for us. So, yeah, it, it, it's not a great game. But you will look at the positives that we are still basically at the top. And you can only ho hope that we piece it together a bit more. Um, I will be back in England for the next three games. So I'm um, flying over for Sheffield Wednesday away. Our first, di our first game back, Hull away, and also QPR at home. Three decent games also to play. So we can only hope that that can also go our way. They've now got the break now, pre-off-season, uh, not off-season, the um, international break. That can give them some time to kind of maybe blend in some new ideas. Because right now, it's just it's just not fast enough. I mean, we haven't really got control in the way that we want to. I don't think Cullen and Brownhill works too well. I don't think Hannibal and Brownhill works too well. I think they're too similar. They do kind of similar things. So there's still a lot of answers to kind of piece together here. A lot of questions, not many answers. That's the right way. But it wasn't great. But we're still second. 
yeah, it, it's a weird one of how to really like judge it right now. So comment down below. But not a great game of football. But if it all clicks, we'll just forget this game ever ever happened, and we move on. So let's hope that's the case. Enjoy your day.